Hello everybody, it's me and Martha. Martha's snoozing back there. Both of our dogs are so tired because we're home all the time with them and they love it, but they're exhausted trying to keep track of what we're doing all the time. Is that happening with your pets too? Um, anyway, Martha and I would like to teach you how to play the happy farmer. It's on page 20 in your Suzuki book and it's song number 15. It's a real tricky one. If you've gotten to this song, you are almost at the end of the book. And Happy Farmer is suddenly a lot more difficult, I think, than the other songs prior to it. Um, but you can do it, you can do it. You have to learn this bow direction thing. You have to learn to go like this with your bow, watch. I'm gonna do it so you can hopefully see, push, Pull, pull, push, push. I'll do it this way so maybe you can see too. Okay, go. Push, pull, pull, push, push. When you do two bow bowings in the same direction and you stop a little bit in between them, it's called a hooked bow. So it's like this, down, stop, down or we also have it with an up bow up up you know what song we had a hooked bow in i feel like we had something similar to that in oh come little children if you play that one if you remember that okay so anyway um the bow in happy farmer the bow direction is super important Usually when we're at school, I, I don't let anyone pass that song unless they can do the correct bowing for me. But I'm gonna put my bow down right now because a good way to practice the happy farmer is pizzicato. Since the bow thing is so tricky in this song, it's why not just learn the notes first? So we're not even gonna work with our bow. We're gonna pluck this so we can get really comfortable with those notes first. So this is what the first line sounds like. Suzuki book you're using those notes to play this song or you're using three fingers on C and G and two fingers on D and A strings to get all your notes to be natural okay so it's a really happy sounding song it should be it's called the happy farmer but let's play with the bow and let's just see what this is supposed to sound like here's our ultimate goal here we go at the beginning of Happy Farmer. Okay, so that's the main theme of it. Uh, I call that the A section. And you play the A section a few times in this song. Um, just pluck it. Maybe you can pluck it for a week, a couple days before you try the bow. If you try the bow, I would really recommend trying the bow without the left hand. Just like we did our, practiced our left hand without the right hand, we put the bow down. Let's do it the opposite way now. Let's try the bow without the left hand. So now we're just gonna do the bow on whichever string it would be playing on in the right direction. We go up, down, with the bow. Um, once you've gotten that down, say you can pluck this first line and, and you can bow that beginning part, maybe then you can try to put it together. You have to be really careful. You go up on a G, down on a C, down on the next E, up on the G, and up on the C. You have to stop in between. They're not slurs. They're hooks, so you have to go. If they were slurs, uh, you remember what a slur is? They blend together. There's no stopping between the notes. 
but here we go. Stop. Stop. Would you like to hear the whole song? I'll keep going. I'll play to the end. You don't have to do that right now. I think maybe one line of this is plenty to learn, but I'll keep going so you can hear. Here's the A section again. just makes it sound like it's the end of the song. Okay, so Happy Farmer, really tricky song. Good luck, let me know how it goes. You can always get in touch with me through Seesaw or through email, and I promise to write back, and thank you for watching.